Hello there everybody and welcome back to some more Mudrunner gameplay for your face. My name is Justice Fist and today we are back in the valley. Yep, we're going to start the uh, one star hardcore run today. And uh, as you can see I've chosen to go with the uh, AA469. Uh, that's because I felt like, um, you know, we, take, we had a really good look at the 969 in my last run through of this map. And it performed really well. I was really surprised. That thing is, I don't know, in my opinion it's a little beast, man. And, you know, I drove it north to south, east to west, and so this time I thought, okay, we're going to switch it up, go with the 469. I didn't go with the 3151 because I really dislike it, and I didn't want to make this too much of a grind. I didn't want to make it too tedious, you know? So, uh, 469, tried, tested, and true, man. Uh, so the plan, I'm going to scout my way up to the garage in the northwest corner here because I know that we're going to find a vehicle there. I don't know what kind of vehicle. Um... My experience of this map so far tells me it's going to be either a 535, obviously, or a K700. Um, I'm not sure if it spawns other vehicles in there, aside from those two, but uh, we'll find out shortly anyway. So that is the plan, man. So obviously I need to be very careful to start here. I know uh, a lot of you aren't a big fan of watching me uh, scout around in these little scout vehicles, but... Uh, this is real touchy situation here uh, until I, I get a vehicle found and unlocked cannot roll it or get it impossibly stuck um, <laughs> so if I go quiet it's because I'm trying to be careful <laughs> uh, I don't want to screw it up right from the get-go and make that so-called walk of shame to go and hit the restart button you know <laughs> I'd rather not I'd rather not but you never know what's gonna happen in a game of mud runner man that's what's so awesome about it right you just never know. So yeah, I feel like it, if we find the 535 up there, we'll be in pretty good shape uh, to get started. Uh, the 700, on the other hand, I don't know. Uh, that's going to pose some problems for sure. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I almost want to find the 700 just to make things that extra difficult, you know? But... Um, Thankfully, it's random, and so it's out of my hands, man. Uh, what vehicles spawn into the map is going to dictate how the gameplay kind of flows in this series. And um, the only vehicle I think that we're for sure going to find is the 6317 uh, in the eastern part of the map. Um, I'm pretty sure that's one of those vehicles that's just always there, right? But as for the other two, uh, no idea. Okay, let's get this first watch point. I can just see myself ramming into a down tree or something and rolling this over because I'm ripping around in high gear here. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to carry on. And, uh, yes, okay. Um, do I want a shortcut through here? <laughs> risque, Justice, risque, man. Maybe. Maybe. I have to I have to really um you know, choose my crossing wisely here. Uh do not want to get washed away in this thing. <laughs> in that water. <laughs> that would not be a good start. Okay, we'll keep it in low, we'll just go easy. We're gonna try to shortcut it here. Easy, easy man. I feel like the harder I try not to screw it up, the more likely I am to screw it up. Yeah? Yeah, look at this. Okay. Now, now this looks like a bad idea here. I'll just go slow, slow, slow. There we go. Let's have a look at what we're dealing with here. Yeah, go for the shallowest point, the most shallow point, but careful, careful justice. Okay, that's the plan. All right. Crossing water with this thing always makes me nervous. 
it's not as heavy as the 315 one, so it does has a p have the potential to get washed away pretty easily. Okay, and all the rocks in there and that, yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. This was my main concern. Okay, hitting a rock and, and having the current catch you and roll you over, that would have been it. But okay, okay, we did all right. We should just be able to get on the trail and happily go to the garage without any problems. Hopefully. I'll feel a lot better once we have at least one other vehicle going, you know? <laughs> Gonna avoid that altogether. Second gear, Justice. Come on, man. So yeah, if we find a 535, I think what I'll do is we'll just uh, set the scouting aside and focus on getting this garage opened up right away. I know we can haul both of those trailers with it, and that'll be what's going to happen. But I think if I find the 700, uh, I may resort to just continue scouting and see what else there is, uh, just because I don't know that I'll be able to hold, haul, hold, haul both of those trailers at the same time. Uh, I don't even think it has a hitch on it if it's got the clamps on it, right? So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, this watch point's just in here. Yeah, it's just in there. Um, Let's go. Go. Let's see what we got. We got the 700. All right. Well, let's go up there and see what the deal is. Sort of hoping for that to make things more difficult. Now I'm thinking, ah, pff, Christ. Yeah, yeah, and it's got the clamp on it. I don't, I don't know if it. I don't know if it, you can hitch a trailer to it with the clamp on it. I don't think so. Might almost be worth going to check it out. Maybe going to try. I don't know. I should know this. I've played so much Mud Runner, countless hours. But the 700. I hate that damn thing, man. I don't use it. I don't use it unless I need to recover a vehicle and it's the only choice I have. 
Uh, let's not burn, burn too much fuel. Here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, you know what? Okay. I made my decision. I'm gonna leave it here for now. For now, we're just gonna leave it. And we're gonna see. We're gonna see what spawned in here uh, at the garage over here. There's a five three five. Wait, so they just swap locations or what? I guess so. 535 will definitely haul the, those garage parts for us, that's for sure. Um, but I have to get there. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. That's it. We're taking a tour in the 469, man. Scout our way over this way, I guess. Right after a sip of beer. All right, nothing to it but to do it, man. My microphone, sorry about that. All right. Do not want to go th too fast through here. I don't want to nail a rock or something. Starting to get bogged down pretty good here. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh yeah, I can see the tower there, okay. Perfect. I try to cross those on an angle, you know, one tire at a time when I can. Seems to work pretty good with these little vehicles. The key is when I can. <laughs> kind of just get pushed out all over the place. Not as bad as a 969. I feel like the 969 was sort of, driving it through here was sort of like, it was like akin to someone slipping on ice and trying to catch themselves, you know? And this person just never quite falling, you know, the 969, it, it, get, it gets through it, but man, it's not graceful, that's for sure. <laughs> it ain't pretty. 
<laughs> okay, good. Right on. So, we will carry on. Uh, best way to get out of here? I don't know. I have to wing it, I guess. Oh, no, you know what? No, no, no. I would like to take the south trail here. Because I know this is just a mess. Not not that the 469 can't get through it, but <laughs> it'd be tedious, man. It'd be tedious. Okay, we're going here. Alright. Oh, you're going to be like that, are you? I said, get out of my way. Thank you. Right here at the split. Okay, there's the garage just ahead, right on. Make a short work of this. There's the 535. Beauty. Beauty, man. Alright, let's just see what kind of shape this thing's in here. As I expected. Nothing's in the red. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Cool. Okay. Now. Um, I guess we might as well continue on to the fuel station. I know it's probably the 6317 there, right? I mean, it's sort of the vehicle that was part of the DLC. Right, so I mean, it's safe to assume that we're going to have the 6317 there. Yeah, where do I think I'm going without waypoints? <laughs> I will end up so far from where I need to be. Might even be funny. So yeah, let's go check that out, and then we'll deal with that watch point.
Well, so far so good, man. We got a couple vehicles now. I feel like the hardest part is over. The hardest part is not screwing up in the first 10 minutes, right? And having to re restart the level. Now uh, we got things to work with here. We can move things around. It's uh, basically going to be a logistics game from here on. There it is. Yep. Exact same setup. Everything. Beauty. I really do love this truck. This uh, 6317, man. It's, uh, yeah. Just an awesome work truck. Excellent. And just because why not, let's see what shape it's in, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be just like the other two. No, it's mint. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> okay. Good, man. Good. So. Well, I might as well get some fuel in this 469 and uh, go ahead and take care of this watch point. It's right here. And then I think... Um, I'm going to start moving the 535 towards the southern part of the map um, in order to retrieve these garage parts and uh, get this garage up here open. So yeah, we'll get some fuel in the 469, take care of that watch point, move the 535 down to the fuel station, and on and down, down to the uh, southwest part of the map. That's the plan. Yeah. I like it. I'm going with that. Jesus, what am I stuck on here, man? Just mud. Beauty, okay. Need to figure out how the hell... I don't remember how you get to this watch point. Um, I really don't. Hmm. Can't remember if there's a trail that branches off of the main trail there or what. I guess... Uh, yeah, it's awfully far away from there. Might just have to bushwhack the whole way. Well, that's a lot of that's an awful lot of bushwhacking from way up here hmm we'll see yeah that's that's hmm yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's some pretty thick bush there. I don't know, man. Maybe, uh... Yeah, we'll get onto the main trail and see. See from there. It's like pointing behind me. Oh, I'm not on the main trail, that's why. Jeez, that takes me pretty far away too, though. I can't remember how the hell I got that last time.
cool. Kind of looks like open, open ground over here, though, eh? It does, it does. Boy, that's far in there, man. <laughs> uh, all right. I mean, it, 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 does, it at least doesn't look like quite a stick bush here. So, <laughs> I'm going to go for it. See what happens. <laughs> Listen. Oh, we got a hill to climb and everything. Okay. All right then. If I have to. I really want to, as you can see. Ooh, what, what, what? Oh, wow. You're kind of being a dick, bud. What the hell, man? Where am I? What is happening here? Oh my god, I'm not even close. What the? God damn it. Holy. Now the bush gets thick. Oh man. This was a bad decision, Justice. <laughs> not a good idea. Best idea I've had. Yeah, I don't know about this. I don't think there's any other way, though, right? I mean, maybe coming at it from the south would have been a better idea. Oh, man, I don't know. What are we stuck on? Bushy stuff. There, broke. God damn it. Oh wow. I can't even see through this. This is this is insane. This was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, I can see it. I can see it. Can I get to it? Not sure. So close. All right, there we go. Good. All right. Time to leave this thing alone for a bit. You can take a rest, bud. Right on. Okay. Let's focus on getting that garage opened up now. Um. Yeah. First thing I need to do is get this 5 through 5 to the fuel station. Top off the tanks. So we're going to do that. Right there.
And I am, of course, going to haul ass. Why not? She'll be damned. Hopefully I don't eat my words. Fill her up, please. Excellent. All right. Now we got a bit of a road trip here. Yeah, we'll cut this corner. What the hell? And uh, down to here. Not too concerned with the crossing, really. But always good practice to stop and have a look-see, you know? that rock. I know there's a rock in the middle of this pond here. Caught me up last time. Not this time. Oh, there's one there. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, I thought I'd cut the corner. There we go. Here we are. So, yeah. Really doesn't matter, but we'll make it easy on ourselves across there. <clears throat> Gee, I almost want to recall the 469 down here just to get these, um, <clears throat> these watch points. I'll cross. I'll cross first. And I'll stop here, recall the 469 to this location. Um, and then it'll be here. And we're going to continue with the 535 just to switch things up for the sake of the video. 
but it'd um, be handy to have it down here while we're passing through here anyway. Right here would be a good spot to recall that 469. Definitely. Perfect. Yeah, you can just stay there for now, man. Perfect. Okay. Carry on. Make a pass by the fuel station. And then down to the garage trailers, man. We're on our way to getting this, working this map. This is awesome. all over the place, man. Watch it. Got the fuel there. Yes, sir. Right on. All right. Excellent. Let's get it hooked up to these. We'll bring them up to the garage and call it an episode there unless I uh, roll them over too many times and it ends up being a, a big long ordeal then obviously uh, <laughs> I'm not going to try not to run more more than an hour on these episodes so I guess it's going to depend on how this goes. I, I'm going to roll them over at least twice I figure because the terrain is really rough and when you're hauling the the one at the back with attached with just a tow cable it's just it's all over the place, man. If, if you can make it without rolling one over with this setup, you're, you're good. You're good, man. I'll give you that. You got the magic touch if you can pull that off, man. What, what, what? Come on, man. Just gonna put it in auto here. Not sure what that's trying to tell me. Too close, too far. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm off centered, is what's going on. Alright, alright, alright. Right, you can't just pick that up, bud, and uh, hook it on there? Come on. Now I'm too close. <laughs> My god, this isn't starting out too well, man. I'll tell you that. You can't even get the trailer hooked up. 
don't know how the hell you're gonna tow it all the way there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, alright. Here we go. <laughs> I'm alright, man. Alright. Well, <clears throat> here we go then. Might as well pass by here again. And then, uh, yeah. How many times is he gonna roll the trailer trying to do this? That is the question. Boy. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try not to. A personal challenge. Don't roll the trailers over, Justice. I feel like the harder I try, the less likely I am to pull it off. Uh, Alright. Got about 20 minutes to do this, so... Before I cut the episode, so... We'll see. Going slow will save me time from having to roll that trailer over. As he jams it into high, whee! <laughs> oh no, he's not gonna catch, okay. How are we doing back there? Okay, not bad. This isn't the hard part though. So once you get out into the that valley area with all the wood down and stuff, and then you have to sort of climb this little hill to get back on the trail. Uh, okay. Alrighty then. Actually, I wonder if it would have been smarter to take the trail to the right there. It might not be as rough. It's too late now, but, uh, yeah. Like, thanks, Captain Hindsight, you know? That was a useless thought too late. That thing... Jesus. Oh, is that tree gonna do it? Oh, nope, it stomped that tree. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright. Just gonna take it nice and slow. Rather go slow and not have to roll that trailer over, man. Especially with the 535, it's not exactly the uh, most maneuverable, you know. <laughs> Man. Okay, how are we doing back there? Alright. Um. Yeah. I guess we're going this way. They just cut straight through to hell with it. down there without rolling these trailers over. This is the tricky part. One of the tricky parts. Okay. So far so good. That's rough. Okay. Hold here for a second. All right. Let's see. Let's see how we're going to cross here. And then I found getting it up onto the trail, this section of the trail here, it's really rough until you get up to around this bend. Those trailers are just <laughs> all over the place, man. And we're just going to go straight through. Hopefully. 
not roll any trailers over. That would be a personal first for me, that's for sure. So, okay. I'm not feeling too optimistic about it, though. Look at that, look at that, oh. Oh no, what was that noise? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, here we go then. All the rocks here on this side, you know? Damn near impossible to thread these trailers through. Look at them. <laughs> okay. And then these trees here, yeah, there's no way. There's no way. It's almost better to just yank on that sucker. Come on! No! Oh, damn it. Damn, man. You know what? I'm just gonna drag it as far as I can. Because as I said, this trail is just so rough until you get up around that first bend. <laughs> I'll just drag it. Screw it, man. Oh, no. I think we're snagged. I don't think I can drag it any further. No. Damn, man. I made it this far without rolling it over. That that's that's pretty good. Not not good enough. Would have liked to have made it all the way, but what are you gonna do, you know? All right, let's just get off of this really rough terrain here, because it's just gonna happen again. Get it up past this stuff here. And I think we'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go retrieve that trailer. Yeah, see, if you had to do this too many times, you might start to be a little concerned about your fuel situation and stuff, I feel like. Apparently I'm terrible at hooking the trailer up. <laughs> How are we looking? Still a bit far. Oh, well, would you look at that? <laughs> Alright. Let's get it back up there. Oop, oop, oop.
Oh, God damn it. Okay, I'll use the mouse. Jesus. Man, that is so annoying. Jeez. Okay. All right. in here. Kind of far there, Justice. <laughs> Can't detach, what? Too close? Too close? How's that? Too far? I don't know anymore. Not nailing it here. Okay. Just out of line, I guess. There we go. Sir, all right. Come on, reel that sucker in. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Beauty. Carrying on. Okay, I don't want to get overly confident here. That's never good. But I, I think we're good, though. I think we're good. Although, that's pretty rough stuff. I'm hoping that as long as I keep moving forward, like just keep pulling, putting pressure on it, it won't start to wobble and fall over. I'm hoping. I don't know, it's wobbling a lot. Stop your wobbling. Justice. Hey, there's the garage right on, man. Beauty. Last one. What are the chances? What are the chances I nailed it? Nope. Pretty slim. <laughs> yeah. Pretty slim. Do it right. 
I am kind of close though, but there we go, beauty. All right, there we have it. The garage is open. Perfect. And in perfect time, too. All right. I think we're going to cut the episode here, man. That was a... Uh, that's a good start to a one-star run in this map in hardcore mode. You don't get much cleaner than that, man. Everything went pretty good, I think. So, yeah, in the next episode, we'll just carry on, man. We'll figure out how uh, I want to go about logging this map and uh, do some more of the scouting, mix that all in. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining me, everybody. I'll catch you in the next episode.